Well, hey there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear, and today I am going to be showing you the Halteforce Classic Hunting Axe. This axe is also known as, or there's a, there's a different version of it, and it's called the Halts Brook Annabee Hatchet. And they are, from everything I can tell, the exact same axe. Um, I think one of them is just marketed in Europe versus the US, or something like that. But it's the same length, same head, same stamp on here. But this one's Halt of Fours and the other one's Halt's Brook, just so you know. They're both Swedish axes, and uh, as you guys know, Sweden makes some really nice steel. Um, you know the Grand Forge Brooks axes, you know their Mora knives. They have it down, they have the steel, and uh, they have many years of experience, and they know how to make these things. So I haven't really used this axe for that much. For, for you know, this is not like an in depth, long term use review, but I have used the other Swedish axes, and I know that they do a very, very good job on their steels. Their edge retention is just beautiful, and they do a very, very good job. So let's look at the specs of this axe, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a chopping test and do a conclusion at the end for you guys. As you guys know, we also make sheets for all of our axes, and I'll just show you that as well. So let's get into some of the details. Okay guys, so first the measurements. Now if I measure here from the very tip of the handle to here, it is basically 20 inches. Axe head this way. From here to here, it is six and a half inches exactly. And then if we measure the cutting edge along here, it is three and a half. And from here to here, it is one and seven eighths inches. So the pole here is two and looks like three sixteenths of an inch. The magic ruler, magic yardstick, doing its thing. And then if we look at the eye of the ax, uh, the handle comes through here. It's uh, two and one sixteenth of an inch that way. And in terms of width, it's just under an inch. So basically 15 sixteenths there. So the weight of this axe without the sheath, is two pounds and 6.4 ounces. And with the provided sheath, two pounds and 8.7 ounces. And with our sheath, two pounds and 8.6 ounces. So this head, they don't really specify the kind of steel they use on the ax heads, but uh, it's what we do know about it is it's hand forged. And here's what we mean by hand forged, this little booklet they provide, it's all in Swedish, I think, so I can't quite read it, but you can see what the kind of tools that they use. And when they do the hand forging, that really compacts and compresses the steel and makes it a lot more hard. And the edge retention is really, really good. And then they heat treat the edge to let it keep that really, really nice sharp edge. And it is shaving sharp, and that's the way it came in the box. So it's just, it's beautifully sharp. Nice and polished here. You can see this nice patina on the ax here from the forge. It's really, really nice and symmetrical. All the fitting of the handle here is really good. No gaps, a little tiny gap there, but that's just fine. Sits really, really nicely. I like these little uh, cheeks they have here. That looks really good. And that gives you a lot more purchase um, and contact between the wooden handle and the metal head because of that extended length there. And they also use a wooden wedge and then a round metal wedge. That gives you a nice mushrooming here on the handle so that prevents it from going back out as you use it and swing it. And it's sitting on here really, really nice. I've been chopping with it and uh, it has not moved at all. The pole here, you can see it's kind of ground down and they've uh, made it a little bit polished here. So it looks like you can use that to probably drive some stakes and whatnot. I probably wouldn't drive metal with that. The wooden handle here is an American hickory handle. It says here, Hickory. Um, looks like you don't want to drive metal against the axe head, but you could definitely hit some wood with that. On the head here, we have the HB, which is Halts Brooks. Then it says 0.85, which I'm assuming is kilograms, and then it says made in Sweden. Very, very nice stamp. I love this, how deep that stamp is and very, very prominent on there. Here we have Halt Force Classic. On the other version of this axe, it'll say Halts Brook, and it'll look just like this. Like I mentioned, this handle is made out of American hickory and it's soaked with boiled linseed oil. Um, decent grain orientation here. Very, very nice piece of wood. Um, I don't see any knots or imperfections in the wood. So that hickory is gonna hold up really, really well. And now the shape of the handle too is just really, really nice, really organic, nice flow to it. And uh, as you hold it here on the edge, you can see that it swells out just a little bit this way, but mostly this way. And so. Uh, like I was just chopping on here for a while and that really helps you hold on to the axe a little bit It is a little bit slippery so you could you know put a little sandpaper on that and get it a little bit more rough But otherwise, it's really good and then we have a lanyard hole here if you want to use that So this is just a very very nice looking axe and it is not just nice looking. It is a nicely made nicely functioning Excellent tool the sheath provided with the axe is not a horrible sheath and it's actually probably some people consider it to be quite good 
Um, we have a nice welt in there, and then we have five rivets that hold it together, and then the retention system is just kind of a, a friction system. The only thing that I don't like about it, well, two things I don't like about it, is that it's a little bit difficult to remove and put back on. Um, it depends on how you do it. Some, you, you might want to do it like this, but that kind of cuts through the that side of it. Or if you try to put it on this way, it's a little bit big, and so you just be careful when you put it on, make sure you don't cut your hand. Um, and then this goes over that, and then you tighten it like that. And the other thing I don't like is the fact that um, they have metal rivets all through here, and it's not glued in. The welt isn't glued in. So if you do chop it accidentally with the sheath on, you're going to get some nicks in the metal. And we've had that with some of these other axes that have these rivets like this. But outside of that, it's made out of leather. It's pretty nice and stiff. And actually, Haltzbrooks and Haltaforce probably make some of the nicer sheets out there. But as you guys know, we've made sheets for many different axes, and this is no exception. My dad actually is the master that produces these things. And if you guys want to see how he makes these, there'll be a video popping up. If you click the information button in the upper right corner there, you can see how these are made. And what is really nice about these sheets is um, they're made out of, nice, out of a nice piece of leather. There are no rivets here along the cutting edge. Um, they're formed very, very specifically for the axe that they're made for. We have a snap here. When you put the axe in, you just go straight in. It fits very, very nicely. You can see it's formed exactly for this axe. And then the strap goes around, clicks down like that. And there we go. So and if you do chop through it, you will not hit it, you know, either one of these rivets and it'll be just fine there. And we have this uh, ROG stamp on here and some details and nice leather work by my dad and polished edge here. The welt is in there, it's glued in. So there we go. You guys judge for yourself what you think about that. These are available on Amazon as well as on our website and links will be in the description and in the information button up there. So you guys can check that out. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is just be sure to measure your ax before you buy one of these sheaths, just to make sure that you don't have a bigger one or something is abnormal. Uh, just measure from there to the toe of the ax. So basically from where the handle connects into the head to the toe, and that should be roughly six plus or minus one eighth inches. And then you wanna measure your cutting edge and make sure that that's three and a half, give or take one eighth of an inch. And that's just so that when you put it in here, it will actually fit through here and that your strap will be long enough. So there we go. Beautiful axe, beautiful sheets. All right guys, so let's do a chopping test. Thank you guys for watching this overview of the Halt Force Classic Hunting Axe or the Halt's Brook Anivy Hatchet. They are one and the same, just different branding. Hopefully you guys found that useful and helpful. If you have questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, don't forget to praise God for everything he provides us and gives you. We'll see you guys in the next video. Over and out.